Uh, let's talk about the deal environment because you've been involved in some of the biggest deals uh, at the moment. Uh, Discovery uh, merging uh, with, with, with Time Warner uh, is, is uh, probably going to be Warner Media, I should say, uh, one of the biggest. Um, what, what, do you, what do you see in terms of the pipeline right now? Are we going to be seeing a lot more sort of headline grabbing deals like that? Yeah, I think our view, and I would say this is true for all of not only the independent firms like us, but all the big firms, the, the merger environment right now is just extremely, extremely active, much, much more so than we ever thought it would be, certainly in the dark days at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, so we think, and, and I certainly feel, that the intermediate term is going to be very, very active. And, you know, if you look at, we, we look at our business through our six industry groups, you know, financial institutions, consumer, healthcare, et cetera. And when you look at each of those sectors, there's one thing in common, which is there's an enormous amount of change ahead. And if you just look at the bookends of energy on one hand and healthcare or technology, say, on the other, those are very different industries with different pressures, but they're all uh, very complicated right now and they're changing a lot. And that is really causing a pretty broad-based uh, discussion on strategic activity across the board. Right. Where do you think we are in the cycle? And the reason I ask is I always think that you're, you and M&A are oddly a very good barometer of confidence in, in the corner office. Sometimes the confidence uh, is justified. Sometimes it's not. But if you were to map M&A activity to the S&P, it's actually a, not, not a bad way to think about the world. Yeah, the confidence level right now is very high. But I would say even more important than that, um, in our experience, chief executives feel an enormous pressure to create value and to outperform their competitors. And so, yes, there's confidence, and yes, that creates an environment in which strategic activity will occur. Uh, but, but it's really, it's, it's almost more the pressure than the confidence because, you know, the, 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 the future is who knows where we're going to be uh, with inflation, uh, who knows what's going to happen in other respects. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's a high level of confidence today in the market. Absolutely. Given the uh, potential tax conversations that are going to happen, happen in Washington, uh, are you expecting a, a sort of onslaught of transactions before the end of this year, in the, especially in the private equity space and other places like that? Yeah, the, the, the pace of selling activity, initiated by selling activity, is definitely higher uh, but, I, you know, I, I, I don't often see a company that has no intention of selling and then because of the potential tax law change, they're selling. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's that extreme, but, but the general level of activity is, is definitely higher right now in, in that context. And in, terms of, and in terms of the regulatory environment, I mean, we're looking at even smaller transactions where an Amazon is buying an MGM and now the government's going to look at that. How are you thinking about that? And when you're advising CEOs, I mean, are you looking at this as a, a very tough regulatory environment? What kind of deals do you think get, get through? What don't? How long do they take? Yeah, I think there, there will definitely be a higher level of scrutiny, uh, which, by the way, is not all bad. Uh, I, don't, I don't really think that's going to harm the system. It's not all bad. Um, but there is a higher level of scrutiny, and it's a very important piece of the puzzle when you're thinking about a strategic move, particularly one that involves uh, competition uh, or, or an area that will be uh, looked at very closely uh, by the government. And, and as a result, for example, do you think like big tech can do a deal today? And when you think about the other media players out there, even in the, the universe that you just advised on, can they do a deal? Yeah, I think big tech can do deals, but it's, listen, they are, they are all under enormous scrutiny, and their businesses are very, very good as they are, frankly. And so, yes, I think they can do deals. I think they will, every move they make will be looked at with, with, with extra care uh, by the government. And so, you know, I think the pace will, will slow, and they won't be able to do anything, you know, sort of uninterrupted, if you will. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.